Domestic violence is real and it happens to the strongest of women and men. This one's called Boa Constrictor. It's my story. I was never scared of your size or afraid of your bite. I felt your strength was gentle and your heart was light. I was attracted to your bright colors and your smooth skin. For you, I never backed away as you moved in. I was aware of your nature from the first time that we met. But I thought that I was created to balance you out and this love was heaven sent. I must have spent so many hours fantasizing about how my human feminine heart would change you. That I ignored all of the signs and let my mind rearrange you. Until it was me who was distorted and out of my element. Now my commitment to you was everything and my safety was irrelevant. Can't believe that I fell for it, but there I was in your lair and under your spell. So entrapped by your lies that my power fell to the floor and I didn't bother to pick it up. I let you wrap yourself around me, felt my body lifted up. At first it felt like warm pleasure, a lover's swaddle. But alarmed by my helplessness, I began to feel your power. As you secured your grip on my vital organs and my mere breath became labored. As you constricted all of my airways, I looked into your eyes and watched you savor my life force as it was leaving my body. But my spirit you could not touch, so it yelled for anybody, somebody please help, deliver me from myself. I have seen this story so many times, but now it's me who needs the help, because I am now the woman who was deceived by the snake. And now that my life is about to be taken, I am no longer embarrassed by my mistake of trusting the wrong monster disguised as a man, putting my life in his instead of trusting God's hand, but it was all in God's plan for me to survive this terror and become free. To share a sisterhood with women who have struggled like me and are now equipped with the power to refuse anything unsafe. Infused with the wherewithal to look a predator in the face and say not in this place. For my body, mind, and soul are sacred ground. Now I have been the help that comes when no one is around and my sister's spirit utters the sound that she can finally cry for help. And when we survivors share our story, we can see the pain we all felt and mourn for those who lost the struggle and rejoice for those who are here in this new place of freedom, rid of all its fears. Though we may still share tears, they are now to cleanse our souls of any remaining stains of his power and control.